denied bail to get out of prison last week uh, amidst the COVID-19 situation that we are in. Um, Here's what the U.S. government said when he was denied bail by the Ministry of Justice and the judge that is proceeding over Julian Assange's trial. And by the way, before we get into that, I did do a pretty large piece uh, for like a like a, d- a deep dive into um, Julian Assange's trial and why it's so important. Um, so there were several things that I covered in that. One of them being that this is being that the extradition is not fair. He was being spied on. He didn't have any privacy. He did so there was no client uh, client lawyer confidentiality situation because he was being spied on. So the, the, the case should be thrown out. They're trying to say that it's not a political cr- a crime uh, or a political, he's not a political prisoner. This is not a political prosecution, even though it is. And they, and they keep making hypocritical statements about how this damaged the political landscape because of what he did and what he's, what, um, what he's being extradited for and would be called into trial in America would be over political crimes. Um, crimes of treason, which is a which is a political um, political criminal offense. Um, so there's a lot of contradictions to to what is happening with Assange in this context. Um, but but they denied him bail, so he's still stuck in prison, and his life is in danger. So check this out: uh, the United States government said that it's not up to any court or government to tell the Ministry of Justice what they've decided. The Ministry of Justice has decided that they're not going to grant him bail for various different reasons. Um, you know, so the United States has determined that the Ministry of Justice in this regard can't be, uh, you, we can't tell them what to do, but you can tell foreign governments that you want somebody extradited to their country and, and how you should make the case, uh, to extradite them over into their country and how you should allow the United States to spy on said persons. You can do that, right? You can you can definitely tell them how to operate their their legal system, and what loopholes and hypocrisies and bullshit that you can that they should spin around in their head. Um, but you can't tell them that hey, something that's morally right to do, something that that is for the benefit of somebody's health during a global pandemic. Ah. We can't, we can't tell other people how to run their business unless it benefits the United States. Unless it benefits, unless it makes us look great. Get this guy, eh. we don't want to, we don't want to get involved with this guy. Unless it's putting him in prison, we don't want to get involved. So the Ministry of Justice did say that they might reevaluate they might they'll think about it oh we don't know work i mean this is crazy there's so many things that he's uh, you know it's difficult we got we're so tired are you guys tired i think we might we got to go get tested we got to go we're we're gonna go get tested and then we'll think uh, once the test maybe the you know the situation i don't know it's just we got the british bake-off that's a thing i don't know how netflix is how long it's gonna be on on netflix it might be gone it might be gone you know so we gotta really we gotta support. We gotta support the British and the and 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 the baked goods, because uh, because you know the the Brits are not known for food and and you know if we're gonna, uh, it's really a matter of national pride to support the British Bake Off. So we'll come. I mean, and Julian is not really British. He's Australian, which is different. And you know you know the thing that they say about Australians is that uh, they're British criminals. So it's just like that's we just gotta assume that he's already a criminal and he's and if we let him he's going to commit all these crimes and real did we mention the bake off did we mention have you seen it have you seen the british because it's delightful it's great we got these cakes i'll send i'll 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 send you a link i'll say we'll think about it so here's the other thing that the ministry of uh justice has also said right the health of an individual won't be relevant uh, for the risk of an individual absconding on bail. So they're basically saying that he'll run away on bail. That's what he'll do because he's done that before. He's absconded from bail before. Oh, when Sweden said that he was 
uh, in charge of this crime and even though he went in and gave all these statements repeatedly and they couldn't find any evidence to to claim that uh, that 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 uh, uh, what he was being charged for was was actually real, uh, you know. E even though all of that happened, there was no evidence to to say that what he did was 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 uh, uh, was what he was being accused of was actually true. They proved his innocence through the law system um, in Sweden, and uh, and they were still calling him. Uh, and you know, they, and Sweden has this track record of extraditing people to the United States without any. Uh, w trials or uh, they just kind of do it because you know Sweden they're so nice they're, they're nice people and you know he so, so he went and he, he seeked asylum and Ecuador granted it uh, uh, you know and he was seeking asylum uh, against the country's uh, the horrific crimes of, of war and corporatism and uh, you know if he got extradited to the United States they would treat him really badly and probably treat him uh, ki kind of like uh, a, a terrorist um, that that is uh, absconding. Look, seeking asylum is not absconding, you idiots. Seeking asylum against a country that is committing international crimes against whistleblowers and doing unjust things, doing unconstitutional things, that is illegal. <laughs> So this guy was just protecting himself from a corrupt legal system. And when you have a corrupted legal system, you have to be creative in the way that you protect yourself from it. Because that legal system is sure as shit going to be creative on the way that it's going to fuck you over, as we constantly see over and over again. Right? They look for these little language loopholes. They make the law a little bit more complicated. They use you know, language from ye old times, from 14.9-3. This is how they talk to 14. So we're going to adhere to these laws from 14.9-3 and apply them to, to regular context, to, to the new agey world context, but still use the laws from the time where the, none of these new agey world things were happening. So they also claim that he might go out and commit other crimes. What the fuck? Where? What? How? Like, what crimes is he going to commit? Is he going to go fucking rob a bank? Too bad the banks are robbing themselves <laughs> by killing the economy with this, with, with the way that, you know, the, the, the bail assistants are going. Like, he's, he, what is there to rob? Fake money? <laughs> where is the proof of this? Seeking asylum is not absconding from bail. It's not running away from something. That's seeking asylum against an unjust system. And he needs to be protected. So and then one of the other things it says, we have seen that he, 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 he's willing to go to any lengths to obstruct justice from extradition. By seeking trial? Because he thinks that being extradited to the United States is the wrong thing? Like it's an illegal thing? which it is because he would be a political prisoner in America because he is being extradited over a 108-year-old law that has no application but is a political crime law. Like, that's what... What, what are you talking about? Ex the Espionage Act is, is about a political crime. So he would be a political criminal. And he seeked asylum in the, in the Ecuadorian embassy in the UK. So that means the UK is fucking going to make him a political prisoner and extradite him to a country which according to the US UK treaty you can't fucking do they claim that the risk of flight is insurmountable w once again fucking how the dude is like he hasn't tried to escape from prison has he does he have a fucking photo of a a, a, a saucy pinup lady and behind there, you guys discovered a, a very deep, deep tunnel that he is, he is digging out of to, to Andy Dufresne himself to escape extradition illegally. Like, what the fuck? Where is the goddamn proof of this? What we have seen proof of is undeniable cruelty from the Ministry of Justice and the judge in the, in the UK against the publisher, against someone that did their fucking job. They're also claiming that Assange doesn't fall into the category of uh, a vulnerable person during this crisis, right? 
That's what they're saying. So, uh, which is also bullshit. That's also false because he has four respiratory in infections. He's had four respiratory in infections in the in the seven years that he was in the embassy. He's had tooth decay problems and major mental health concerns, including cardiac concerns because of that, right? When you're depressed, when you're anxious, when you're stressed out and your cortisol levels go up, you become immunocompromised. You're, you're much more likely to be sick in those stages because your body is not building up enough antibodies. There's, hormonally speaking, you're, you're just not developing enough to, to fight back any sort of illness that your body might uh, encounter. So, you know, and all of these things are compounding effects, right? The respiratory illness, like COVID-19 is a respiratory disease. So anybody that's had like major respiratory illness in the last year is immunocompromised, is part of that vulnerable uh, uh, a vulnerable class of people, right? So he's immunocompromised. They're basically like, well, he's not in the age group that's, uh, that's, that, that this is dangerous for. And sure, yes, sure, he's, 40, he's in his 40s. He's 48, right? But this situation uh, has aged him like an extra 40 years. And that's, and that's what illegal detentions and, uh, and, and, and tortures do is that they, they age you rapidly it's like the worst form of time travel ever, ever right like when somebody's just like you want to travel forward in time oh wow that sounds really cool great get into this isolation chamber and you'll travel into the future and it's like yeah it's because you age them 40 years by by torturing them just like seeking asylum isn't absconding torture is not time travel Here's one thing you could do um, is you could uh, you could return Julian Assange um, to the Ecuadorian embassy during this time. Right. Um, you could you could provide him a safe house from you could you know, you could sanitize the asylum down and you could uh, you know, you could you could get him back into the asylum. And look, you know, he can be monitored. He's not going to go anywhere. Uh, I mean, Undercover Global was already spying on him on the behalf of the CIA. Boom, there you go, Dunzo. You already got the cameras and all the equipments all set up. Even in the ladies' room, you, you got that camera set up, which is creepy as shit. And somehow or another, Undercover Global, you guys managed to be creepier than Jeff Bezos. So congratulations. Great job. Now prisons where he is, he's in Belmarsh Prison right now, uh, are incubators for infections and uh, infectious diseases, right? Iran, because they knew that, uh, this country that's supposed to be this evil dictatorship, they're fucking ass-backwards people living in the caves and giant... I mean, it looks, it looks like a skyscraper, but it's just like a big... It's like a rectangle cave is what that is, okay? Like, that's how they're this authoritarian, backwards, religious leadership... Like, they're seen as these evil people released 85,000 prisoners because prisons are incubators for infections. Meanwhile, the Western world is torturing a, a publisher under false charges in an 108-year-old law that doesn't apply in modern times. Yeah, Iran's the backward one. Here's something that Assange just said, that he would rather commit suicide than be extradited to the United States. And that's how fucking terrible the United States justice system is to whistleblowers. That somebody would rather take their own life than go through our legal system. That says a lot about the legal system. How come the United States justice system doesn't have to prove that? That they, that they are somebody that doesn't want somebody to commit suicide. That they are, they are actually about equality and actually about upholding the law instead of making up laws to like help corporate criminals and war criminals around the world? How come they don't have to prove that? How come that hasn't come into questions? How come they don't have to prove that this is this awful pit of despair, xenophobia and hate driven out by authoritarian manifest destiny? How come they don't have to prove that? Now, what they do claim is that he is, you know, oh, by doing, revealing all, these, all this classified information, you know, all these, all these behind closed doors, secret meeting information, that he has put so many lives at risk. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The lives. The lives that are at risk. Oh, dear. Oh. 
mercy, mercy, the lives that are at risk. Well, there's been no proof that he has endangered um, even one life. Um, uh, but the United States is endangering, da endangering his life uh, with this extradition by not saying something to the Ministry of Justice to get him out of prison, despite the fact that he is a vulnerable individual that has been tortured psychologically and physically at this point. And the U.S. has also endangered the lives of countless other people with its militarism, its corporatism, and its authoritarian manifest destiny principles of, uh, of, of operating as a government. But we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. You know, we kind of just ignore that sort of stuff. That is not what, uh, what, what, what we want to bring up in this situation. Just all the lies, all the propaganda, and all the twisted little things that we have to say to continue the torture of a publisher that revealed the war crimes and the corporate crimes of the elite, not just in America, but also globally. And now they have to make up lies and hypocrisies to justify to continue torturing him so that when his trial does show up, um, when his trial does show up in May, if it shows, if, if they get to the trial in May, he is not going to be mentally fit to, 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 to make a solid case for defense. And, you know, the, the justice, his, his legal defenses are going to be scrambling to keep his health up to date. And, and a court case. Hey, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like and share and make sure that you are subscribed to uh, get alerts whenever I'm dropping new videos. I'm putting out videos uh, pretty much every single day uh, during the the old the old pandemic situation that, that we're all that we're all in together. Uh, so make sure that you guys are, um, you know, like, share, subscribe, make sure that you guys are getting notifications, um, and, uh, and, and keep up to date with all this stuff. Um, uh, what else did I, I don't have any live stand-up comedy dates to let you guys know about. I normally would, but right now, uh, they are all on hiatus. So, um, the best way to, to help is with the with the sharing and making sure that you're subscribed and stuff. But uh, if you have the means to and you can donate, uh, you can donate over at ramennoodlescomedy.com slash donate. You can make a one-time donation or you can become a sustaining member, uh, whatever you are able to do. But it is, it is absolutely uh, not mandatory. It is a uh, extra sense of appreciation uh, for all the content that will be coming out. All of my content will be available uh, for free for you guys to view and enjoy. Uh, make sure you guys are taking care of each other. Make sure you're being good to each other. And uh, till the next one, we'll see you on the road. Thanks, guys.